Hello everyone, now in this video, I will let you know how to make your own portable stock market monitoring device by just using your ESP32 board, e-paper display and some other basic components. So let's get started. So for making this project, you will need one ESP32 board, an e-paper display, a lithium battery, a TP4056 lithium battery charger and an on off switch and the connection of all the components is something like this. Now to make this project more compact and portable I designed my own PCB on easyadia.com and gave its order to GLC PCB directly. Ordering PCBs online is very simple. Just upload the Gerber file of the PCB, select your favorite color masking. Now this time I have selected one new color option available called matte black and placed my order. After some days you will be receiving this amazing PCBs at your doorstep. I would like to add some words here. I have ordered many many PCBs online in different color masking but this matte black color is way more different and unique as compared to all other maskings. Matte black feels good, looks good. So if you are planning to buy PCBs online, do go for matte black PCB at the same price of only $2. Okay, so now one by one I shouldered all the components on this PCB. I used this female box strip so that I can easily remove ESP32 for using it in some other projects. And I shouldered the wires coming from the e-paper display directly on the PCB. If you want to buy this exact same display which I am using, you can go to lcsc.com and order it online. I will leave its link in the description of this video. After shouldering all the components, I stick the battery and the PCB behind the display using the double sided tape. And now our project looks something like this. Compact, right? Now let's move on to the coding of this project. So this is the code for this project. Now first of all you need to watch this video on getting started with e-paper display which will guide you to download all the required libraries for using this display. Coming back to the code, here I will uncomment this line as I am using a 4.2 inch black and white display. You can uncomment other line as per your display. Moving ahead, here you need to provide the SSID name and password of your router so that our ESP32 can talk to internet. Now to add your favorite stock in the code, you need to follow these all steps. First, write down the stock price name here and make a string variable. For example, I am writing here as yes bank. Then copy this line of code and paste it just below this function. Now here change the name of this variable with the stock variable you just created above. And copy the same name here as well. Now you need to change this link which will get your required data. And to get that link, you first of all need to go to money control website and search for that stock you are interested in. So I will go to Yes Bank. Now select its price and right click. Go to Inspect. Here again right click on the price. Go to Copy and Copy XPath. Now open a new tab and go to thingspick.com. Make an account here and log in into that account. Now go to Apps into Thing HTTP. Here click on New. Now on the last block, parse string, just paste the X path you just copied. Then go to stock price page again and copy its URL. Now we need to paste this URL here in the URL block. That's it. Click on the save button and here is the link for the price of your favorite stock. Just copy this whole link and paste it inside the code here. And just remove S from this HTTPS. That's it. So we are successfully getting the data in this particular function. Now we just need to display it on our e-paper module. And for that, go down in the code and copy these lines of code and paste it here. Here we have to add the position of the text to be printed on the display. So I will write here as 80, 160. Then I will change this text to yes bank. And here I'll copy and paste the variable name which I have created, which is yes bank. 
So this is how you can add many different stocks in this particular code and display it on our e-paper module. Below this, you can see this line is commented, which is for making this display work in full update mode. But in this project, I'm using it in partial update mode to save a bit more power. So I won't be uncommenting it. And at the bottom, I have added the code for deep sleep mode to save the power. Hence, using this code, we can have a look over the stock prices every minute. And you can always change the deep sleep time here in the code by changing the time to sleep variable. So yeah, we are done with this code. If you want to know more about the process of getting custom data from website using ThingsPig, then kindly watch out this video in which I have explained this process in detail. Now let's just select the right board, which is DevKit V1 in my case, and click on this upload button. Okay, so code is successfully uploaded. Now I will attach this ESP32 board on the PCB and I'll power up this device. As you can see, we are getting the data of the stock price. As the display is not updated fully, you can see the data is not visible clearly as this is running in partial update mode. But don't worry, after 2-3 updates, the display will become very much clear and easy to read. So yeah, so this is the portable stock market monitoring device. This is very much handy and I can easily put it on the desk of my shop and I can monitor my favorite stock price on the go. So yeah, this is all about this project. Do let me know how was this project according to you. Did you like this project? If yes, then do show your love by liking this video and subscribe my channel if you haven't to learn more such interesting projects. Other than project, I also used to upload some getting started videos of electronic products. I also make some explained videos regarding any sensor or technology and I even make some short but useful videos. So just wait for my next video and then explore, learn, share with me, Techie SMS.